All right, Caitlin Arkin, I'm here with Justin Bua. And Justin, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Pleasure, pleasure's mine, pleasure's well, mine. Well, talk to me, first of all, we have your, your brand new book here, The Beat of Urban Art. Talk to me about this project. I mean, this is a, this is, must be a labor of love for you. What, what went into this? My life, my soul, my cosmic energy. Six years of hard work and sweat equity went into the book. I've been wanting to do this book forever. Uh, fans have been asking me for an anthology in my book forever, so it's really been a, a labor of love. You know, the characters that I paint and draw are very real to me. I represent the people who are kind of the underclass heroes, the icons of my generation, the DJ, the b-boy, the MC, the break dancer, uh, the pool hustler, the people who are really not don't really have a spotlight on them in real life and so I kind of give them the shine in my paintings and I capture that world, the that kind of underworld of old school New York but really a lot of that is incredibly relatable because there are these kind of iconic hip-hop characters today so it's very contemporary and very you know current. And talk to me too, I read in your bio that you had a high school art teacher that told you to back away. She said that you, your stuff just wasn't mainstream enough, it wasn't fitting in with the status quo, and yet your mom said, no, you keep at it. And I mean, talk to me about that. How did, I mean, you, you went against your high school art teacher and, and prevailed and did this. Not only was she my teacher, she was the chairman. Wow. Yeah, so she said that, uh, well, I wanted, I wanted to enter the Mark Rothko Scholarship for the most outstanding artist of the five boroughs of New York City. And she said, your work is too street, it's too irreverent, you don't have what it takes to make it. So finally I came to her senior year and I said, look, you know, I put together a new portfolio, I have what it takes, can you enter me in the competition? And she just said no. She had people who were her favorites, I'm not going to name any names, Tristan Elmo, Maggie Byer, Matthew Chamberlain, but the point is, is that, you know, she said, look, it, you just don't have what it takes. So I went to my mom with my head between my, you know, my tail between my legs, completely deflated, and I said, you know, mom, uh, my chairman won't let me enter the competition, and she said what any typical New Yorker would say, which is, the hell with her, I'll give you the money, you enter the competition. I did, and I won. And, uh, of course, she was all up at the award ceremony, cheesing it up with me, like, I always knew he would make it. He's fantastic. Another thing I always told you about him is his work is perfect. It's really street and it's really irreverent, and that's what I really like about it. So, you know, look, never let anybody tell you that you can't. You, you can't uh, live your dreams, because really, it's all about you believing in yourself. And talk about that. You have kind of developed your own genre of art here. How difficult was that for you to break in and kind of get this, this out there and then go against people who maybe were more sticking to the status quo? You know, I've always done what I love to do. And if you do what you love to do long enough, people are going to catch on to it. Uh, so it's not like I was setting out to, you know, pioneer a new genre of art. It was just something that was very natural and organic to my style because I really draw on the rhythms of graffiti, on the rhythms of break dancing, and also on the rhythms of classical painting. And so it's kind of a hybrid and a meld of all of those things plus my life story that is really what my work is all about. So no matter what anyone has ever told me, because she wasn't the only player hating teacher out there, you know, I had teachers who, who uh, another teacher who told me that I couldn't and I shouldn't. I'm not going to name his name, Steve Ettinger. But, you know, the point is, is that once again, you got to believe in yourself. And I had a lot of people also who, was re who were really positive. So. What do you, what do you want to tell people? What do you want people to take away from their experience with you? That they should really go to justinbua.com, J-U-S-T-I-N-B-U-A.com, so that if you don't know my work, you should really check out my work because it's real and it's visceral and it's about not only about, you know, the street culture of art, but it's really about urban art and this is really the new movement of art and that art is really important. And for a lot of people, art is a very insular thing. People don't have the experience of going to museums. And when they do, they can't really relate to it, you know, because a lot of people go, well, those painters painted hundreds of years ago. What is something that's current contemporary telling a story? And my work is really current and contemporary and is relating to a whole new generation of people. So you have to check out my work and, you know, maybe you'll relate to it too. And if you don't, you ain't with it. Well, thank you so much for your time. We Pleasure. Pleasure.